Charles Never Die. And this 1977 KZ1000 is so much fun, but it badly needs some TLC and a restoration. We're taking it to the shop of the world's quickest and fastest motorcycle drag racer, Larry Spider-Man McBride, as we aim to take this to the next level. You're invited to come along on this journey, and you're never gonna believe some of the problems we encounter along the way. Dig in, old school motorcycle fans. We've got a lot to see. Let's go. Guess where we're gonna go? Spider-Man Larry McBride's. We're gonna put the finishing touches on this thing, rip this motor apart, and make it right. Bring this timeless classic back. But I gotta get out of here because it's gonna snow tomorrow. It's not getting any better. To Virginia we go. See you, Pittsburgh. All right, we made it to Breezewood, PA, a popular junction. It's about 10 degrees warmer and it's not raining. That's a good thing. We have made it to the Mecca. Look at this. I got the right shirt on. I'm so pumped. Let's get this baby unloaded and get to work. Right there, there's a close look. That's where it's leaking oil from. Once you ride it, it's creating a real mess. It's putting it down on the pipe. It's also leaking down here, as you can see. We tried to seal it, but unfortunately it just didn't work. It's getting oil everywhere. Real annoying on a nice bike. Just a little bit of oil makes a big mess. That's what Larry says. I can't wait to rip this thing apart too. It's gonna to give me a good opportunity to do some deep cleaning and you can see the oil that was dripping on the pipe. This is an issue we gotta shore up. It's gonna be annoying for a nice bike, especially if you got OCD and you want it just right. We have an intake cam closes. And bang, it fires. Just basically where you find top dead center of your cylinder. Okay. As you rotate the cams around, you'll see the exhaust valve is opening, so it's on its exhaust cycle. Still on the exhaust cycle. Now both both cylinder, both valves are open, so it's flowing air through the motor. Okay, now the intake valve is opening. This one closed already. So it's opening, and it's opening, it's opening. Now it's starting to close, and Top dead center would be, well, that's, that is the top dead center mark. Next thing we're gonna do is loosen up the cam chain tensioner down here before we address anything up here. Here, two on the other side. Well, there's the real master. Larry, I tried to get a head start, but it looks like I, I might have already made a mistake. I can't even say on the phone what I just told you. <laughs> well, we tried. We made some mistakes, didn't we, unfortunately? but we... That's why you're a journalist and I'm the engine builder. That's true. Don't leave the dial, the dial pins in the motor. Smart, because they could fall and fall in the motor, right? They can't well, go no, either. they wouldn't go, but if you, if you lose them, then you got to get more. And if you leave them in the cam caps, you put the cam caps in a single, in a box, you keep everything organized, okay? It's kind of like organizing your videos. You organize everything you take apart. But you still can't get the same stuff that you used to have. No. Oh, some stinky oil, aren't we? It's burnt. Well, I what think it's your clutch burn up's what I think. You got that car on backwards. How's the smell, Larry? Smell smells like clutch. clutch. Smells like clutch, huh? Look how black the oil is. And that's hey, only, you know, you know that's 500 you know, miles. Hunt, don't you? No, wow. 500 miles. 500 miles. That's all burned up. 500. That's the look like you gotta, freaking, you uh, them, 60 weight coming out of a horror. Uh, Larry, you've seen a four cylinder motor or two in your day, huh? The first one. First one? Oh my goodness. Don't you usually work on mopeds? Yep. Mopeds. Mopeds and scooters. Scooter Gorellis. <laughs> Gorelli. My favorite yeah. moped. 
but they're not too awful bad. The man of steel part ain't even blue. Well, you only hit the front ones that will be. Yeah. Let's well, gotta introduce yourselves. What's your name? Yeah, uh, I'm Norman. Wait a minute. No, I'm Norman. You're Norman, and you are Norman's brother. All right. You guys, how long you guys been buddies with Larry? Um, what time is it? Beat your ass. How long have I've never been up here? Around it. You know, you gotta really look for it. Yeah, you, ooh, yeah, this one. Thank God I don't have it on Harley's. Yeah, we're missing a, Yeah? I say we're missing material. Oh, my. Yeah, that one's smooth, ain't it? Oh, my. Yeah, we're missing a lot of material. Uh -huh. How's that happen? No. That's flat. You burn it off, Jack? Yeah, yeah look at it. Yeah. Right. It's some of these ain't even got no grooves left in them. Square edge looking at you. The rounded edge goes and these grooves are wore down. Yeah, some of them just completely up. smooth. Take um, attention to the school. Yeah. Well, I actually went to school before you broke. Uh, you learned it before you. Like when you got a bunch of those tools on them, when the pawn shot writes them down. And this, this is not super bad, but it's just. It's burning up. Well, it's just slipping all the time. If you'd been riding it hard, it would have been black. I had a set of barnets I put in that Triumph. Sounds like we think I'd have to look at. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. After you rebuild it, how many uh, miles do you put on it before you retorque it? No, oh, 50 to 100. Um, well, how soon do you need it? Yesterday, this is the area where it got famous. Oh, yeah, that's true. Look at this up on the left. This is literally climbing up on the bike stand. This is literally falling off the bike stand. <laughs> Like that there. Got it. Yep. This is like real good in it. Yeah, that Those pistons look great, huh? Huh? Those pistons look great. Look like a brand new. We just want to go ahead. We want to turn it here too. This one number one and four is up. That's the outside ones. I'm gonna get to work on something hopefully that I can't mess up. I'm just gonna take this gasket off and clean up all these parts and do all this grunt work that Larry doesn't need to be doing. And we got really good news. Uh, we thought we may have to machine the case. We thought that's why it was leaking. I think it might just be a gasket issue. Uh, we might go to a paper gasket instead of a copper gasket and that could be it. That could have been our leak. That'll be an easy fix. And I'll tell you, I've heard from multiple engine builders out there, this is the most tedious, challenging part. I've got about an hour and a half in already. Almost got that paper gasket off the backside. And two hours later, I think we got it. I think I got a little bit of buzz going from the parts cleaner. You guys who have done this know what I'm talking about, but I think we got the gasket surface looking really good. bring you up to speed on day number two you've heard of the seven days of christmas this is the seven days of spider-man spider-man mask because i'm going to go in and get us some breakfast here at wawa all right we got the spider-man some breakfast breakfast is served spider-man welcome back you ready you ready for your podcast today getting ready to do it right now go the greatest of all time elmer trett good morning jack good morning steve Couple lessons I learned yesterday. Don't touch Larry's tools. Don't make mistakes working on the bikes. 
two things I unfortunately did. No big problem. We got it all cleaned up. We got a new gasket on the way. We should be good. Got the head all cleaned up. Spent a lot of time scraping yesterday. Work never ends here at Cycle Specialist, that's for sure. So much to see. Uh, the, the, the star year that we would we would have loved to have. But All right, I said I've been doing it forever. I'm doing it now. This guy's gonna try to be humble, but he deserves it. I am nominating Larry McBride for the AMA Hall of Fame. I got the paperwork right here. We have some questions though. National championship event wins. How, <laughs> how many of, how, do we gotta go count the plaques? Yeah, we got to open some drawers up, though. I think we may have some counting to do. Oh, wait. That's not even a quarter of them. It comes alive quick. Take a look at that chrome, boy. You put a coat of wax on there, get it all cleaned up, get all my oil off that leaked before. I'm sure you guys appreciate this if you've ever done it. You could dump 10 grand into this bike easily, making it original. But here's the big thing. This is gonna be a street bike. It's not gonna be a trailer queen. So it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I just want it to look nice. I want it to not leak oil. I want it to run well. And I think we'll achieve all of that. What's your name, sir? Hammer. Where are you from? Newport News. Do you watch Cycle Drag? I do. Thank you so much. Taking this opportunity to clean some areas that badly need it. The battery box was rusty from acid. I'm fixing that. And we're waiting on gaskets, ready to put this thing back together. We've got the head ready to go, ready to go back together. A new clutch coming from the man himself, the one and only Paul Fast by Gast. Touch up on the battery box. Boy, we got a beautiful day for this, thank goodness. All right, while we wait for gaskets, I'm continuing to touch some things up. The block badly needs a new coat of paint, so we're gonna glass bleed, beat it. We're gonna do it right. Larry's got me doing stuff right. He's trying to get as much stuff cleaned up as I can. As you can see here, I'm really gonna have to clean up this pipe. This was due to the oil leak, but we're gonna tackle that outside. Talking about the carburetors that I chose as well. These are a more modern set of carburetors. I do believe the 34 Makuni radial flat slides. I know a lot of people really like the 33 smooth bores on the KZ. Those are good carbs as well uh, that Larry really likes, but he said he likes these ones even better or make more power. This is not cosmetically appealing. This is a common problem for these older seats. It's frayed up here. We have some threads coming out. All right, here is our seat, and here is the world famous Kirk. Yeah. <laughs> Kirk, it's nice to finally meet you. I've heard so many wonderful things about your work. What's not right yet, but something ain't right, and I don't know. I ain't so sure y'all got the right push rod in there. Larry, we had all kind of problems with the clutch, huh? You still got problems. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. Poor Larry, if it couldn't get worse. I just told him about the broken bolt that I have in the case. Listen, well, I wonder why they didn't put them back in. All right, guys, just got the call from Kirk's. It is done. That certainly didn't take long. I am so excited. Oh my goodness. Kirk, you are a master and you certainly have not disappointed. Bravo. How in the world did you make this look brand new? I guess it's pretty easy when you know what you're doing, huh? <laughs> this is awesome, man. Wow. Guys, check this out. Well, thank goodness I got some of the smartest motorcycle people in the world looking at this thing. Look, guys, this just goes to show you a mistake by me not having the clutch properly set up. Motorcycle getting too hot. That is the cam bucket right there. And we need a new one to get it right. Um, it was too hot. That's only 500 miles on that. But 
Unfortunately, that's what happens. Everything on these motorcycles has got to be just right. And unfortunately, with that broken bolt in the case, I would have never got the clutch adjustment right. So thank goodness I'm in a machine shop. Check out all the new parts we got from Z1 Enterprises. Make sure you check those guys out. I don't think I can screw that up. We'll see, though. Man, we're making a lot of progress. I just... I just let Larry do his thing because, man, he is Picasso and he's putting in some time on this thing and I really appreciate it. I want to show you some of the details that he got to. Look at the way he cleaned up the rear axle nut. We did order a new rear axle nut, but it was much smaller. This one's a better overall nut, so we, we cleaned it up. Also, check out the new fender installed. I mean, look at how beautiful that is. Really pretty. Check out the new battery box kit with our painted battery box installed. Small details, but it really makes a big difference. Pretty cool. I was helping Larry answer the phone. Somebody called asking for a t-shirt. It was a trucker who was passing by. He says he watches Larry all the time on Cycle Drag. He wanted to stop and see if there was any merch available. I said, as long as it's okay with Larry, come on by. You know Larry, very hospitable. He said, come on, stop by. We'll get him hooked up. All I got's white, my brother. Big coasters over there. You don't, but I, I will for you. Because I, I generally got some. Can you take a debit card? You got the time? Oh, I think I can. Mm -hmm. 260. I'm going to say I relax at 260. I relax at 265. He, that's what he said in the yeah, interview, yeah, huh? Because when he kills it, that's, he, he says, I relax there. Bye. Thank you for watching Cycle Drag. That's a sticker for you. And we hope to see you at a race next year supporting Spider Man. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Isn't it great when fans stop by? Oh, absolutely. We always love it. They're always welcome here at my place. Yeah. Well, I had a friend that had one with a... Yeah. Guys, an update for you. Larry is in the zone. I feel bad. This was supposed to be a project that didn't take that long. Larry's a perfectionist. He just finally said, that's it, we're going, we're going all in. And it's, it's masterful. It reminds me of when I go to my friend's house who's an IT guy and watch him use a computer in a way that I've never even seen it used before. Larry's going crazy on this thing. This bike is beautiful. We're changing all the hardware. Where do you take a look at this? Another big problem was the tack and speedometer didn't work. We are shoring that up. And you know what? I do believe we have a visitor outside. The ZX-14 shows up. Apparently this young man, uh, the rider who is not here right now, he broke down. This gentleman's from AAA. We got him watching cycle drag. In the meantime, we're waiting. Rod, Larry? I need a rod. Yeah, wow. it's got a bad. Sound like number one. I don't know. It's hard to say, but it's definitely a rod. And if you keep running, it's going to sling it out. Yeah, that's insane. So, you guys, this motorcycle is for sale. Three thousand dollars takes it or make an offer. Where are you located at exactly? Uh, Newport News, guys. Newport News, Virginia, close to the Spider Man. That's where Cycle Drag's at right now. Let us know if you want it, guys. We put that up on social media. Hopefully we can help Antoine cut his losses. I know that he's none too happy about his ZX-14. Back to work here for the Spider-Man as we continue to make progress on this 1977 Kawasaki KZ. As we are getting closer on the Kawasaki KZ project, really got to thank Larry. What a perfectionist. My goodness, I never dreamed how much work this was going to be. It ended up being a little too cold to paint, and honestly, I've had a miserable time trying to keep paint on the cylinder block, so we decided to just go with the stock cast aluminum look, and I really like it. The glass bead blast really did the trick. And thanks to Steve McBride and having access to a machine shop, we were able to fix the broken bolt in the case. It was a difficult job. We actually had to make an insert. So thank you, Steve, for that. And now I'm very optimistic that we'll finally be able to get this clutch adjustment right. It is time to go back together for this KZ-1000. Things are really coming along nicely.
Oh my goodness, wait till you guys see my oil pan from not having my clutch adjusted right. What a lesson. I didn't put many miles on it, but an improperly adjusted clutch will cause this. What a lesson for me. I'm truly humbled. That is not what you want running through your engine. Just one small detail not being right can create a major issue. Thank goodness we're fixing that. I'm also optimistic that we're going to fix our oil leak. That was really annoying on a nice bike to end up with oil all over the cases, all over your shoe every time you ride it. Our gaskets are in and I believe we have that fixed. The only bad news is every time we take something apart, Larry finds something that needs addressed. The good news is my head had to be disassembled and we were able to bead blast it, which is going to make it match the block. The bad news is the reason it had to be disassembled is the retainer. We need new retainers. So uh, unfortunately, something something happened to the retainers we were using. Any KZ guy out there, make sure you go to kzzone.com, APE Race Parts, APEJ. Not only does he have everything you need, he's a wealth of information and has helped us out so much. Yeah, AJ's been a sponsor of mine for 20 plus years and um, you know, all the stuff that we're putting in this top of the line. Just going to put everything in it new, just to uh, make sure that we, uh, you know, cover all the bases and should get a long, uh, a lot of mileage out of it. So, A lot of mileage. That sounds great to me. That's the goal after all this work because I had so much fun out on the road with this old school bike. There's nothing like it. We really want to thank AP, Kibble White, Webcam, all the great sponsors that have stepped up with parts you guys are the best. Let's put this thing back together and hear it roar. Alright, I'll take it. That is a successful first startup. Still got a little bit of work to do, but hey, no oil leaks. We've got a little bit of work to do on the carburetors as well. This ethanol rich fuel has really wreaked havoc on them. And hey, brakes. Guys, if I can give you one piece of advice when you're doing a restoration, take a good hard look at your brakes. Look at what we found. They had fluid, but they needed rebuilt. They were horrible. Larry took this thing to the next level. Unbelievable. The things that he has done to this bike. I never in a million years thought this motorcycle would be this nice. I'm thinking back to when I first bought this thing in 2001 and there were flowers growing up from under it. I uh, got a new piston in there as well. There was actually no brake fluid. It had turned to mud. That's what Larry told me is these things work a lot better with brake fluid than they do mud. Hey, that's what happens. It hasn't been cracked since 1977. If you got a vintage bike, definitely check it out. Then look at this brand new brake line that Larry made. Super nice, super trick. And then also check this out. We bought a replica front master cylinder. Looks great. Looks a lot better. It's a better fit than the one that I had on there. Another great reproduction part from Z1. The back brakes were a little better. As I said, it did have good fluid. Didn't have to change the piston. They're ready to go. We got the carburetors adjusted. Let's get them back on. you vintage guys or anybody when your bike's going to sit for a little bit 30 days or more make sure you put non-ethanol fuel in it and a fuel stabilizer because today's fuel is just so abusive on all of those little passages we had a nagging problem on these mccoonies an accelerator pump was stuck but larry was determined to get to the bottom of it did i mention this man is a perfectionist
Hey guys, check us out. We're having a little break, taking a little break from the Kawasaki KZ. We're having a 265 mile an hour party for the Spider-Man. Big thanks to Tim Blue for bringing us some food. No. Shrimp on the Barbie, my man. This is the way to celebrate 265. Something a little different today, guys. We're in the gym, we're getting sweat going. We're getting Larry ready to go 265 miles an hour. We're getting his physical fitness up. You need physical fitness when you go 265. He's doing a great job. He does it all. Let's get back to this KZ and try to finish this thing up. went to great length when we were discussing. That is the cam chain tensioner, APEJ. He is a manual tensioner that we know is in high demand by so many shops out there because as APEJ tells us, this is really the only way to make sure that those cams are exactly where you want them. That's exactly right. We've been using APE tensioners for oh, 25 years at least. And what happens at this, the manufacturers that, uh, some of their tensioners don't really don't hold up and they are, they're not really good for drag racing. Um, cause you wouldn't really want to keep the cams in time. You want a certain tension on the cam chain. What's your name, sir? <laughs> Come on, Jack. What's your name? Ron. Where are you from? Newport News, Virginia. Do you watch cycle drag? Every day. Thank you so we much. We posted a video about Antoine ZX14 for sale. Guess what? My buddy Jack Robinson bought it all the way in California. Pretty cool to hook up friends. Glad we could help out Antoine as well. He's heading all the way to California. Can you believe that? It's a long ride. Let's see where it goes. Spider-Man, you're going a little crooked. Could you show me how you keep your cart straight? That, oh, there it is. There it is. Look at that. That's why they call him the Spider-Man. That's why they call him the Spider-Man. Perfect. Right down the groove. That's why they call him the Spider-Man. Even at Costco, he can make it go straight down the aisle. Good job. Guys, as if it couldn't get any sweeter with this KZ project. Dave Conforti, Worldwide Bearings. We are going to put the best bearings on the market in this KZ. Worldwide's in the front and in the rear. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Dave Conforti. You are the man, guys. Worldwide Bearings. If you're not running them, you're missing out. Get them. Just one more area to address to complete this restoration. One of the most important parts of your motorcycle, that is the paint job. As you can see, we need a new one here on our beloved KZ1000, and it's time to put Tim's custom painting to the test. Yes, it was time. This machine had some battle wounds, had some road scars. The side cover blew off a few times. There was a gas leak at one point on the tank. There were some chips from the years of wear all in all, this was a great paint job. It got me by for phase one and two of the restoration. It looked good from afar, but I knew at the end of the day, when I completed this restoration on my bucket list, something I always wanted, something all motorcycle guys want, is that show quality, top of the line, luminous paint job. It's not inexpensive, but I'll tell you, good work's hard to find. This is so cool, guys. I've heard so many wonderful things about Tim's custom painting. I can't wait to put Tim to the test. It's a true honor to meet the man himself, Mr. Tim. It's great to meet you. I have heard you are a local legend. You do the nicest work around. Tell me a little bit about your background and how long you've been doing this. Uh, we've been here 30 Three, 34 years, we do a little bit of everything, build cars, insurance, custom bikes, whatever you need, pretty much. And I'm seeing out in your waiting room, you've done a lot of Barrett Jackson cars? We were doing that, that was like in 15, I think was the last one. We did that for about five years. Well, this is amazing. Are you up for the challenge with this old school KZ? Yeah, we're gonna see what we can do with it. You're the man, I appreciate it. All right, buddy. Wow, guys, look at all the cars that Tim has done for Barrett Jackson. I'm talking immaculate work. Not only Barrett Jackson vehicles, but Tim being a car enthusiast and race enthusiast himself, he's done some drag racing machines, so he's very familiar with our style. Guys, I've been in a lot of different paint shops. I can just tell Tim is on a different level. I can't wait. I can't wait 
to see what the KZ1000 looks like after this. You know, that paint job I did about a uh, homemade paint job 15 years ago. It looked okay, but uh, Tim's gonna take it to a new stratosphere. If you're gonna do it right, thorough prep is vital, and this is a multi-stage process. It's very time consuming. That's why a good paint job will cost you a little bit more. Smooth as can be, ready for some more primer, paint, and clear. Tim's the best. And he's got a lot of great shop helpers as well. We've got a personal connection with Tim. If you remember the Top Fuel motorcycle that Larry McBride bought off of Terry Vance long ago, Tim was the one who painted it for the Spider-Man. And you know if Larry trusts him, he's got to be among the best out there. Look at that KZ bodywork transform. Oh my, time to buff. All right, back at Tim's and I am pumped up. Can't wait to see what the bodywork looks like after he did his amazing job that he always does. And as you can see, there is no rest at this shop. These guys are wide open, full throttle, working on a car. Tim and Jeff. Jeff, you're actually the one that painted my KZ. I want to say thank you. You did an amazing job. Thank you, sir. Tell me a little Pleasure. bit about the process. Uh, basically, we get the parts in. We strip the original paint off. We get them down to bare metal. We fix whatever imperfections are in the metal, and we do a good primer to it. Block, sand, and reprime. Then we go on with the color. It's usually three to four coats of uh, good latex-based waterborne color. We went with PBX Jazz Blue and uh, finished up with four coats of clear and then wet sand and buff. It's gorgeous, man. Thank you so yep. much. I no really problem. appreciate it. Tim, so awesome. If yeah, anybody man. wants to get their motorcycle done here, you say you do take them. Obviously, we specialize we in cars, too. Yeah, we love the cars, but we'll do the bikes. Okay. There you have it. Get a hold of them and say Cycle Drag sent you for an extra hookup. Time to get this tank back and put on some brand new emblems from Z1. Take a look. Wow. I have waited for this day for a long time. It's finally time to shake down the revamped, rebuilt Kawasaki KZ. And let's give you a reminder of where we started. This thing was leaking oil. It was a mess. There was oil all over the exhaust. Several issues that needed shored up. But now it is new and improved, revamped, immaculate, spotlessly clean. And I can't wait to hear the new and improved 1977 Kawasaki KZ-1000 come to life. Let's do it. Did it look great? I could tell just by this little John around the parking lot, it felt like a completely different motorcycle. Amazing. Thank you, Larry. I'm gonna tell you what, I've never felt brakes feel so good on a KZ. Unbelievable. Wow. Wow. Larry, the work of art is complete. Bravo. What's your impression doing a 1977 Kawasaki? Oh, it was fun. It's, it was a, it was definitely a challenge. Um, by, by no means is it is it um, um, you know everything perfect by no means, but it's uh, it'll, you can still use a lot of new fasteners on it. But uh, you know it's a ride. It's just, it's a it's a it's a rider. It's not a guy. It's not a bike just to sit up. So, and that's what you plan on doing with it. We're just glad that we was able to help you. And uh, you know I'm happy with the way it turned out. So, um, what's the best advice you could give somebody who would want to attempt this? Who's watching this and says, "I want to attempt a restoration." Well, the main time is the main thing is uh, pay attention to detail. You know, make sure everything's safe, uh, and the detail is, is the biggest issue. Uh, you know, when it comes to all the wiring and 
you know, putting all your gauges and, you know, doing all your brakes. Just pay attention to detail. Um, uh, you know, there's a few, there's still some things on here that I would like to, um, you know, you could change with different fasteners. Uh, you know, I'd like instead of putting regular uh, black bolts in it, I'd rather put stainless bolts. And, you know, of course, I don't have a ton of stainless bolts in Metric. You know, could we order them? Yes, we could order them. And you start ordering, you know, start getting, you know, you can't just call up and order one bolt. And I don't believe in using Ace Hardware stuff, so I believe in using the good stuff. Uh, but I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Amazing job. What a journey, guys. Unbelievable. Let's run through some of these upgrades real quick, give you one final look at the finished product. What a difference from when we first brought it here. Upgraded brakes. We totally rebuilt the brake system. Larry put brand new top fuel-esque lines on those with the new fittings. I'm telling you, the brakes are so solid, there's no flex in the line at all. Brand new master cylinder, reservoir, brand new speedometers. We want to thank our friends over at Z1. If you need anything, reproduction, if you need any old school cow parts, go to Z1, that's for sure. APEJ, we want to thank him so much. There are so many APE components in use. You're taking a look at some right now, right here, right down here. Thank you so much, APEJ. Web camshafts, really appreciate it. Tim's custom painting for the amazing paint job. Kirk's upholstery for laying that down. We want to thank Schnitz Racing for the brand new chain. Had to put a new chain on this bike, that's for sure. I want to thank Bruce Sauer for giving us some components we needed. Lester Jenkins, thank you so much. Got a brand new clutch in this thing from Fast By Gas. We've got Kibble White components in use. Thanks so much, Kibble White. We really appreciate it. All new cables, new clutch cable. I'll tell you, the clutch has never felt like this. This is amazing. I don't think the clutch was was ever right due to that broken bolt. I don't think we're ever gonna get the adjustment right. New throttle cable, you know that will help for sure. You know, I'm so blessed to have access to a machine shop, a lot of little tricks that Larry made. Check out that cool custom breather. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this journey. I hope you were able to put this up on the big screen or put it up in the shop and hopefully it motivated you to get to work with your restoration. Like Larry said, these can be difficult, but if you pay attention to detail, that's what I've learned. That's what I've learned through him. He's the absolute best. Hey, a lot of people to thank first and foremost, cycle specialist Larry McBride. Unbelievable, guys, for real. Also want to thank Dave Conforti Worldwide Bearings. We have them in as well. Of course, AP, Z1, Kirk's Upholstery, Tim's Custom Painting, Schnitz Racing, Kibble White, Paul Gass, Bruce Sauer, Lester Jenkins. Thank you guys so much. Please leave your feedback, your comments down below. Story's not over now. It's just beginning. We'll see what we do with this KZ. If you enjoyed this video, guys, here's another one for you to click on. Subscribe right in the middle. And you know, if there's anything fast motorcycles or old school classic cows, we are in. Cycle drag rolls on. Thanks for watching.